Hi, I'm Stephen Lieb, an investment advisor, and I've just completed a book called Game Over. Game Over is a forecast of very turbulent times over the next 10, maybe 20 years. And it gives a recipe as to what the government has to do to curb the turbulence. And also, I think most important, tells the public and investors what they can do to protect themselves in an extremely turbulent economy. I sat down to write this book, not so much because I think the world or our civilization is going to end, though the chances of that happening, I have to say, are probably higher than they've ever been. Still, I'm very hopeful we can get through this. But there are going to be a lot of turbulent moments, and a lot of people are really going to be caught in a terrible situation. But one reason, maybe the major reason I wanted to write the book is because I wanted to give everybody the best chance possible of getting through what is going to be extremely turbulent times. Times where we're likely to see inflation soar as high as 30 or 40 percent. Times in which we could see unemployment go as high as 15 or 20 percent. It's going to be very turbulent. I think clearly the best investment you can make would be in precious metals, in particular gold. Now if you're just the ordinary guy and you really don't like the stock market, that's fine because you can buy gold in stores, you can buy gold coins and if you can't spend the amount of money that you need to buy a gold coin, you can buy a silver coin. Precious metals all tend to follow themselves. When inflation really does take off, as I'm sh pretty sure, almost positive it will, you'll have a lot of protection because history shows gold and silver rise much faster than inflation and that will give you a remarkably good hedge and when inflation comes down again because the economy gets very weak that's the time to store back up on gold and silver if you follow this kind of advice you'll really create a virtuous circle for yourself you'll really be able to take advantage of the dramatic ups and downs in the economy now if you're an investor what you can do is really wide open because there are lots of ways of buying gold and gold related investments in the stock market. And you can also consider buying natural resources in the stock market. Lots of ways of doing that. But again, any investment you make, if you are a stock investor, the first question you want to ask yourself, how will this investment fare if inflation goes to 20 or 30 percent? And just one factoid. The only investments that fared well in the 1970s, which was the only period of time that is even remotely similar to the current one, were those that were leveraged to inflation. And also, I mean, this is, goes without saying, consider, you know, down to earth tips. You know, consider things like insulating your home. That's an obvious thing. Whatever you do, don't ever take low gasoline prices for granted. When gasoline prices come down, it's only going to be temporary. Please don't go out and buy an SUV because gasoline prices come down. Use common sense. Buy cars that get the most miles per gallon. If you're in a position to uh, buy a plug-in hybrid, which I think has a tremendous future, do that. Something else the average person can do, and in fact any person can do, is just conserve energy. Don't spend so much on energy or natural resources. Insulate your home. Make sure that you uh, use the cheapest possible materials that are also very strong. Uh, basically just be resource conscious in everything you do and I think it's probably easiest when you're dealing with energy because there are lots of ways of saving energy. Some of these tips will really save you a lot of money, help you get through the current crisis. You save money on electricity, use the savings to buy a little gold, a little silver, and before you know it, uh, you're, you're thriving in the midst of turbulence.